yo, 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 what's going on, yo? E3 is round the corner, man. I mean, time flies. I mean, I remember watching E3 last year, and all of a sudden, e is back here again. I mean, I think it starts like June the 4th, June the 5th or something. I mean, you've got, obviously, Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo. But, um, I wanted to talk about what to expect from E3 and who I think is going to be winning E3, you know. So first off, let's get straight to the point, man. Let's start with Microsoft. Now, I mean, we all know Nintendo's going to be re- announced, not announced, but showing off the Wii U. So that leaves Sony and Microsoft with a hole to fill in, you know what I'm saying? I mean, they've already come out and said that there ain't going to be no new consoles for both Sony and Microsoft. But the way I see it is there could be a surprise, man. I'm not saying they will release something new, but... They're just trying to keep it for E3 and trying to surprise the whole world with a new console, you know what I'm saying? But I don't think they'll be announcing a new Xbox this E3, maybe next E3, but this E3 I don't think they'll be announcing anything new in terms of hardware. But like I said, you never know, man. You never know. But if y'all don't know what to expect from Microsoft when it comes to E3, especially this year, I'll tell you what to expect. First off, they're going to hype the hell out of Black Ops 2. I mean, they do that every year. They're probably going to announce some sort of new partnership deal where they get DLC like one year before the PS3 uses or something like that. But, um, yeah, they're going to hype the hell out of Call of Duty as usual. I mean, we, like I said, we get that every single year. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, we all know that they ain't got the hardly got any exclusives. I mean, yes, they're going to hype the hell out of Halo 4 as well. But apart from that, I mean, come on, bruh. I mean, what else you reckon that they're gonna have I mean what they're gonna have? I've got a feeling they're gonna announce Gears of War 4 I've actually got a feeling because I seriously don't have no idea what they're gonna be talking about coming free in terms of games so I mean like I said Halo and Call of Duty other than that I mean there ain't that many things they ain't that, I mean what a new Alan Wake game or something or Fable and all that crap I mean come on bruh come on bruh they're going to be hyping the hell out of probably that $99 rip-off deal for that Xbox and Kinect bundle where in the fine print it says that you have to pay forty ninety nine a month or I don't know what it is all the way leading up to almost $500 for Xbox. I mean, it's bullshit, man. It's bullshit. But um, that's what to expect from Ma- from Microsoft's E3. No games, probably no, no new hardware and you're going to get a bunch of people dancing on stage and making a fool out of themselves just to promote the Kinect. I mean, we all know they're going to pr- promote the Kinect as heavily as possible. They do that. They did that last year. They're just going to... And um, at the end of the day, like, last year's E3, it was pretty shameful, bruh. It was pretty shameful. It was the worst E3 show I've ever seen in my life. Seriously. There were kids and m- grown-ass men dancing on the... Th- uh, on the... Uh, what do you call it? On the stage and stuff. I mean, it was ridiculous. And they're probably going to do the same thing again. Announce a bunch of new shitty-ass Kinect titles hype the hell out of Kinect and they're going to have people, kids and fully ass grown, grown men dancing on stage and making a fool out of themselves so that's pretty much what Microsoft's E3 is going to be about now let's let's, let's quickly move on because I don't want to make this video about 20 minutes long but um let's come talk about Nintendo bruh now the ball's in their hands because I mean the thing is the Wii U I mean we ain't seen much in terms of gameplay and they definitely have to show gameplay this E3 they're definitely going to have to announce a price point they're definitely going to have to announce a release date for the Wii U but here's the thing I mean most of the rumours that are coming out of the Wii U it's I mean it's not so good I mean some people are saying that the the level of graphics of the Wii U are just slightly better than the PS3 and 360 or on par with the 360 and PS3 I mean for next gen that ain't good that ain't a good start at all so if they don't come out with some amazing gameplay footage of any game with some amazing graphics I reckon the Wii U might might be a failure I mean it might sell tons again like the, like the original Wii it might sell a lot but I j- based on the rumours I don't think it's a good start from Nintendo with all them graphics rumours that are coming out but if they show I mean they they it looks like Nintendo are the only ones that have new hardware with this E3 and if they come up with some amazing gameplay amazing gameplay footage of some games whatever games it might be then 
they've actually got the chance to run away with E3. I mean, they're obviously going to announce a new bunch of games for the Wii U, obviously. I mean, like I said, when they release the Wii U, they're going to need a strong lineup of games. So they're going to be announcing new games for the Wii U, obviously. I mean, I think they're already announcing new Mario or something. But um, the ball's in Nintendo's hands, man. I mean, if they can, if they can go out there with some new amazing gameplay footage for the Wii U, then I think people might be stunned and Nintendo might just steal the show, man. But other than that, I mean, I doubt they're going to be promoting the 3DS that much, especially when they've got the Wii U already. Um, they're going to announce a few n bunch of games, and that's pretty much Nintendo's E3, man. The Wii U, that's all it's going to be about. And then come Sony and the PS3. I mean, we all know what to expect from Sony when it comes to E3. It's always going to be... I mean, here's the thing. Sony has always been about the gamers. The PS3 has always been about games, games and games. It's not been about promoting this bullshit, promoting that. The PS3, the PlayStation in general, has always been about the gamers and the games. I mean, you're getting all these next deals that Microsoft are doing with um, Xbox about all these streaming services and all this bullshit. But they hardly got any exclusives. But whereas Sony, they're always bringing out new IPs, new exclusives and this year is going to be no different. You're going to see tons of new games. I mean, what worry? I mean, it's not pretty much a worry, but what surprises to me is they could have saved all the announcements for God of War Ascension, for PlayStation All Stars, and all these games that have been announced in the past few weeks. They could have waited till E3 to announce it, but they decided to announce it before E3. Now that leaves lots of people to wonder what they actually will have for E3. And my only guess is that they're going to have tons of more new games for the PS3. I mean, there was rumours that they're going to have 20 new games. 20 new games? I mean, if they have 20 new games, they're going to run away with E3 and they're going to steal the show. But I still, I'm, I'm not sure if it's going to be 20 new games. But if it's anything like 10 or even 12 new games, I mean, they're going to they're gonna blow away with E3, I'm telling you. I mean, like I said, they've announced big big games before E3 that they could have saved for E3 so that lets everyone wonder what they do have in store for E3 now I'm one I mean people don't realize I mean we've got Sucker Punch who made Infamous I mean what are they working on it's been quite it's been more than it's been a year since Infam Infamous came out you've got Quantic Dreams who made Heavy Rain I mean they're making a new game so I'm sure that we're going to be hearing about that hopefully as well I mean we're going to be hearing about The Last of Us now The Last of Us is the biggie man from what we've seen so far from The Last of Us, it's looking like one of the best games you're ever going to play. Yeah, I said it. I f Every time I see The Last of Us trailers, that game looks as if it's going to blow everyone away. I mean, seriously, the game looks fucking amazing. But um, we're going to see, I mean, we all know there's more exclusive. I mean, they've got Sly 4 coming out later in the year. We've got Little Big Planet Car in, which I'm absolutely stoked for. Um... We're just going to, and like I said, they always announce new games at E3, so you're going to be getting some new IPs as well. Um, when it comes to new IPs, you can't really judge what they're going to bring out. I mean, like I said, they've already announced a few games like PlayStation All-Stars and God of War, but you can expect some more games come E3. Um, I'm not sure what else, I mean, like I said, the PS3 and Sony have always, always been about the games, so... As long as they announce new games, I think they're probably going to win E3. I mean, I don't think they're go obviously they're, they're not going to be announcing the PS4. I mean, if they do, it's going to be a huge surprise. But I really doubt they're going to be announcing the PS4 this E3. Probably next E3 they will announce a PS4. But this E3, I don't, I do not think they're going to be announcing a PS4. But in terms of games, I think Sony's going to be winning E3, man. They're going to have tons of new games, tons of new IPs, and as gamers, that's all you'd want. That's all you'd want: new games and stuff. But, yeah, man, that's pretty much it. I think Sony's going to win E3 simply because of the exclusives. If there's anything I've missed out, let me know in the comments section. Um, I've pre I'm, I'm sure I've probably missed out one or two big games. But other than that, if I've missed out anything, like I said, let me know in the comments section. Let me know what you all think. Let me know who you think will win E3. I mean, like I said, I think it's between N Nintendo and Sony. I don't think Microsoft have a chance. But... 
let me know who you think will win E3. Personally, I think it's going to be Sony, but like I said, if the Wii U come out, if Nintendo come out with some amazing Wii U footage, then it could blow everyone away. But other than that, I think it's going to be PS3's E3 show, and let me know who you think will be winning E3, and I'm out.